What is going on everybody? I'm back with another video and today I will be showing off my Harry Potter collection. Now, this is not my Funko Pop collection as you've seen before and as you can see right behind me, but this is just everything that I own that is related to Harry Potter. First off, I'm gonna start with the movies because you know, that's the most obvious thing, I guess you could say. And then we'll just go ahead from there. So first off, I got the whole Harry Potter eight film collection in 4K and blu-ray and digital because i'm bougie like that this is actually like 120 bucks when i bought it that shows you how dedicated i am to this series <laughs> next i have the fantastic beast movies so far there's only two that have released which is the fantastic beast and where to find them and fantastic beast the crimes of grinderwald i have these in 4k blu-ray and digital as well not as good as harry potter but still very good if you love the wizarding world next we got my only Harry Potter book that I own. Yes, I haven't read all of the Harry Potter books. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've only read half of the first one, which is what I have right here. I actually really like it. I'm not really a reader, which is the reason why I haven't really read them. I don't really like reading books, but uh, I started reading this like a few months ago obviously after i've seen all the movies yeah i really like it it actually tells you a lot of stuff that is not in the movies but yeah it's, this is just the paperback cover of the sorcerer's stone next is a little painting that my girlfriend's sister made for me it has the uh, harry potter glasses with lightning nine and three quarters platform a deathly hollow symbol as well as the harry potter initials with the harry potter font pretty nice I'm very thankful for it i put it right behind my double door pop it's his background next is my deathly hollows necklace it's just a little deathly hollows logo of course the the triangle is the invisibility cloak a circle is the resurrection stone the line in the middle is the elder one next i have this little cage with hedwig in it i got this from bookman's nothing much this is just hedwig in its little cage pretty cool it wasn't that expensive just something to have and sorry if you can hear the rain it's raining right now and thundering <laughs> next i have uh two hedwig book holders they hold all my books well i only have one book but it holds my girlfriend's stuff as well i'll show you guys what it looks like right now i also got these from bookman's as well i get a lot of stuff from bookman's next i have the one and only marauders map replica and uh i got this on i think i got it on ebay actually but yeah this is the, the noble collection marauders map very nice very cool it doesn't have the footsteps on it you know and i can't say mischief managed and i solemnly swear that i'm up to no good i wish i could say those things now next i'm going to show you guys the wands that i have uh, i have three wands one of them my brother gave to me the other two i bought myself so the one my brother gave me is actually harry's wand he gave it to me because he doesn't like harry potter as much as i do and you know he had no really use for it i guess when he did have it it broke it like snapped in half almost he super glued it i still kept it because it just looks a little crooked that's it. I'm so glad to have Harry's wand, you know? Next, I have the Elder Wand. The most powerful wand in the world. This is, again, the Noble Collection Elder Wand. So much detail. It feels absolutely amazing. Great quality. It has a good weight to it as well. Next, I have Lord Voldemort's wand. I just got this yesterday, and I am completely satisfied with the quality of this thing it's absolutely amazing just like the other one it looks like a bone and uh, you know it's specifically made for Voldemort because he holds it like in a certain way like he like he barely holds it with like two fingers I love this thing very cool next is uh, just something I bought from bookman's as well I think it's a uh, Harry Potter trivial pursuit and yeah it's really fun it's actually kind of hard even if you know a lot about Harry Potter it's like they have some tricky questions I haven't really got anyone to play with me really because no one likes Harry Potter like I do <laughs> but yeah very cool Next, I have my AirPod case. I actually made this case online. It's a picture of Doby. I put like the, the Hogwarts crest on there as well. I think it cost like 20 bucks. I actually made the picture. Well, I didn't make, I, I put those pictures together. You know what I mean? But yeah, pretty cool. Next, I have my little Hogwarts model. It actually lights up. Very cool. Got this from Bookman's as well. You guys should seriously check that place out. It's a very great addition. Next is my Doby poster. I actually got this a long time ago before I got like all this stuff except for the movies. It's right above my bed and it's really cool. I like it a lot. Last but not least, I have a Harry Potter music box. I got it for like eight bucks on eBay a while back. One of my best purchases by far. I'll show you guys a video of what it sounds like.
Well, that is all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much if you got this far. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe. I'll be uploading my Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1 review in a few days. I just wanted to upload these collections before that. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.